Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I know. We learned that stuff from uh, when we was in music school. I remember taking this. It was one day our teacher I did it for us. It was called the Gamelan. The what? It was called a Gamelan. It was something like, it was just a title of some piece of music he wrote. And it had like 25 instruments in it. All right, so and he gave each person in the class like, all right, you're this, you're this, you're this. And then they started, and we had to read the music, and it started with one person, and I'd be playing. Dun, 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 dun. Then the next person coming. That's tight. Dun, 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 dun. Then somebody else has something where you. And then as more and more keep coming, you have 20 something things all coming in where you have to kind of focus on finding these. You have to focus on your instrument first, but you have to play along with everybody else. Right. But it made us be like, there was a lot of simple melodies and simple concepts like that. It's just four of them. And just that little, but adding a bunch of those things, it creates this like cool bounce and stuff, you know what I mean? Where, yeah. It's funny how many simple things I learned in music school just really help when you make the music and why our music sounds like that. It's a little different from everybody else just because we know like musicianship. We know like, right. uh, it's not just guessing. We like know like uh, why we're doing what we're doing. It's not like, let's just see if this works. It's like, no, we're going dark to the dark <laughs> like trying to hit a bullseye. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like with the Dirty Money song, that's music was already like a hit. You know what I mean? Same with this. This music is just memorable already, you know what I mean? We'll still do songs like On Point. Check us out. Somebody had to be like the options in the ceiling. <laughs> So I'm just trying to, I'm not putting pressure on you in a way that's not going to help you. It's just kind of a practice thing. It's like Kobe hitting the game winner. He practiced the buzzer beater. So when it came time for it, he was like, I did this a million times already. This nigga's dead meat. And wow. And then everybody be like, how did he do it? And be like, I did that shit a million times in practice late at night when nobody was in Staples Center. I mean, the crypto.com arena. <laughs> 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 Damn it. Got him. Got him. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock. You got to 9 to have the song. So that gives you probably 15 minutes to finish that verse. And then you got 45 minutes. I don't have a minutes. court, though. Huh? I don't have a court. We'll figure that part out. You ain't got to worry about that. Keep the bars going. Okay. It's kind of like. This is what you do though. A lot of thinking over here. I'm trying to be like, okay. This is what you do though. It is, but I need, I need time. You got time. You got hours. <laughs> it takes time. Great. Okay. You got 50 minutes left. You got time. You got hours. Like, you got 50 minutes actually. <laughs> with anybody. This music shit is fun how it look. Like, oh yeah, they just making music. This shit, this really, you sign up for this shit. This shit hard, hard work. You're gonna get pressure put on your ass. So if you really, really trying to do this, you just playing around with a hobby, then yeah, do whatever. Not what we doing. Of the process, it's part of the fun part. It's like a teaser back in the teaser years from now. Like, remember, you used to be a fan of the city, like, <laughs> it's how Nikina used to be. Now she'd be like, now she got like big sister swag. Like, I was here before all you guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like the little big sister. She's gonna be here tomorrow, actually. 